How to Rear Your Own Nematode series by the Alfalfa Snout Beetle Project. Brought to you by the Cornell Cooperative Extension as well as the Shields Lab at Cornell University. Hello, and I'm here today to show you how you can inoculate your field cups for your field applications. Right here I have a cup of infected galerium that I will ship to you when you're ready for your field applications. Today I'm going to use, first off, these starter cups. And what I'll do here is, when you take off the lid, nematode should be emerging inside the cups, around the edges of the cup, as well as on the lids of the cup. First step you're going to do is you're going to take the lid, and you're going to take a paintbrush that I mentioned before, and you are going to just gently scrape around the edges where you see the yellow film, which indicates there are nematodes there. So you just gently scrape around it, and then you want to place it into your container that has non-chlorinated water. Again, remember, non-chlorinated water is very important in dealing with nematodes. So you can do it that way, and you can also do it if there's a lot of nematodes on the lid. You can also take your, your water, and you can actually rinse your lid into another container to collect all the IJs that are on that lid. You can also do it with the ones in the cup if you're very careful. Um, that's sometimes where it's best to use a paintbrush around the edge. Sometimes if you try to tilt this over, the wax worms on the top can be loose and they'll fall in and you just kind of get your sample all messed up with sawdust and dead, dead cadavers. So that's why I want to use the paintbrush inside the lid. Same thing, though, rinse it, dunk it into your water, and then you're good to go. So I have my container here full of nematodes. Put this other stuff off to the side. For now, you have uh, ordered your other cups that you're going to actually use for your field inoculation. So these are the field cups, and these are your live galeria. You kind of see them squiggling around in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my little container full of nematodes and non chlorinated water, and I'm going to inoculate the cup. First off, I'm going to use, just to kind of show you, is a syringe. And I'm only going to do 10 milliliters or 10 cc's here, so I can use the other examples. So I fill it up to 10 cc's, and I'm just going to try to cover the entire top of the sawdust with the material. Same thing works with the uh, dosing dropper. I'm going to take this one that holds 5 milliliters or 1 teaspoon. Take it and just squirt it on top, maybe around the edges. Again, the most important thing is to make sure you have total coverage on the surface. And the last thing I'll use is this measuring spoon. This is one tablespoon or 15 mils. So I'm going to fill this to the rim. The one thing you want to remember when you have your container of uh, IJs is you always want to keep it a little agitated so the, the IJs inside don't settle to the bottom. So now I have them in my measuring spoon. I'm just going to just soak again this, the top of the field cup here. Once I'm done, I'm going to close the lid. I'm going to label it with the species, and this is the uh, Feltii, so we're going to go SF, and then today's date, which is the 29th for this video. Okay? Obviously, you're going to have a lot more cups than one. You're going to have, you know, anywhere from 8 to 40 cups that you're going to want to do for each species, depending on what you decide to do for your farm. That's going to affect the amount of stock that you're going to collect using the IJs that you're getting from the uh, starter cups. So if you're going to be putting on 20 mils per cup, you're just going to multiply that out. If you have 20 cups, you need to inoculate, you're going to need 400 mils of liquid. And that's why you want to use whatever big container you can to collect everything into. Okay? So that's all you got to do for the using of the starter cups.